Hey there, welcome to the Healthy Vibes Podcast. I am Kelly Renato, your host, a mom of two, and a fitness and health enthusiast and encourager. I'm on a mission to help moms feel good about themselves, find time for themselves, and get their strength back so that every single day they can show up how they want to. I know what it's like to feel overwhelmed, unhealthy as a mom, anxious, worn out, and never enough. That is why I want to share with you every single week simple choices that have helped me to feel more confident and content. Each week I'll bring you a short dose of inspiration for you and your family, empowering you to show up for yourself, love who you are, and encouraging you to become more intentional every day with your choices so that you can feel stronger, more confident, and fulfilled. Are you ready to truly love who you are? Get out of that rat race, know that you're enough, and follow the path that you want to, it's time to nurture your mind, body, and soul. You get to make this choice every single day, and I want to help you. Let's start today. You ready? Here we go. Hey there, welcome to the Healthy Vibes Podcast. I'm Kelly Renato, and thanks so much for joining me today. Um, I'm glad you're here. A quick bit of encouragement, and um, I would love to hear from you. I hope I hope it encourages you, and I hope it gives you something to think about this week. Um, I want to talk about, I had this uh, feeling on my heart this morning about choosing different. And I feel like I've grown a lot in the last many, many years, honestly. It's um, been a long journey, but I feel like um, it doesn't have to be a long journey. I think I, I learned making different choices, you know, how it changed me. And it was making those different choices over and over. And I've really seen how it's worked in me. And today, it just like a light went on in my head. And I was listening to something this morning that just encouraged me. Then I put on some music that encouraged me, both of which were recommended by someone. Someone had forwarded me the podcast. Someone had told me they were listening to this song. I hadn't listened to it in years. And it just all like started my day in such a good place. I was on a walk and that's when I was listening to it. And it was the things that I tell you to do that I encourage people to do that are so simple, but so many of us keep waking up and doing the same things. And, you know, then we complain about the same things and we say the same, This I hear it now so clearly in other people when they say, you know, whatever it is they're talking about. I feel that their day could have started different. I do. And I, I, I want to encourage you today to choose different, give yourself a chance just this week, like take it one day at a time. Like don't even feel like you're, Oh, I can't do this forever. That's not how you you take it one day at a time and choose different. And when I was thinking this morning, my first thought was what what I was putting in my head, how ama- how just unbelievable our mind is. And when we take the time to fill our mind with good things or choose good things for our mind, how it really changes us. Like our mind is so powerful. It's more powerful than anything physically I feel like we do. And I do think absolutely you take care of yourself, make yourself stronger, and that's a huge part of your health. But taking care of your mind transforms your life. It really does. And people say it in different ways. And I know it's not like I'm giving you this huge like secret. Everybody knows your mind is powerful. Everybody knows you should fill it with positive thoughts. And you might be rolling your eyes, blah, 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 whatever. Or you might be a huge believer and you're like, I know Kelly, I've, I've learned it. I practice gratitude. I start my morning off right. Either way, your choices seriously change your life. And when I thought this morning about how my mind was feeling when I finished my walk, because of not just the walk definitely made me feel good, but what I was listening to elevated me so much higher. And then I started thinking about, like, I could have just listened to music, which is, there are days I just want to listen to music. I could have um, been walking with someone, which all of these give me good things. But today, that was what I needed. And it just made me start my day in a great way. And so then I started thinking, what other things have totally changed me 
that I've, that have been choices that I chose different. And I started writing down and I want you to think about this because <clears throat> every day we get up and start again. I am far from perfect. I'm not striving to be perfect. And even when I talk about these things, I think some people think, well, she seems to have it all together. I don't. Every day I start again. Every day I mess up. Every day, all the things I'm about to tell you, I still mess up on. But I just, I give myself grace and I try again. And that's the first thing I've gotten better on, how I handle my mistakes. I used to beat myself up. I could have beat myself up for days, but I would ruin my day by something stupid I did or said. Or Now I give myself so much grace. Like for example, yesterday, I res- the way I responded to my daughter about something was not good. I should not have said it the way I said it. I shouldn't have said what I said. It was something I didn't agree with. And I was so mad at myself. And even telling her I shouldn't have responded that way didn't help because it gave my opinion. She got it. It just, but I just told myself, okay, Kelly, just from here on out, learn from that. And I already feel better because we had a few other conversations about completely different things, not even the same topic. And I responded better and I, I feel closer, you know, to what we, because I learned from my response yesterday. So how I handle my mistakes and giving myself grace is one of my biggest choices that has made a difference over the last years. Because every day we mess up. We mess up how we talk to our spouse, maybe how we talk to ourselves, how we handle our kids, communicating something we do in our job. You know, we run over a curb in our car. Like, come on, like we all do stupid stuff every day. But to give yourself grace, move on. You know, I, every day I do stupid things and I move on from it quicker than I ever used to. And I'm, I'm going to say I'm so proud of myself for it because it has made a big difference in how I feel about myself, my life, and how my day goes. Um, another thing, I've second thing I've chosen different over the years is how I speak. And again, I just told you an example of me messing up how I speak. So I don't have this perfected and I mess up on this every day. What I say, <laughs> what I say, how I say it, my tone, responding too quick, not letting someone finish what they're saying. I've really tried to improve that because I don't like when people cut me off, but I do it too. So I'm trying to improve how I speak, what I say to someone, my tone. And so I messed up with my daughter yesterday, but when my son came home, I sat and just listened And didn't ask him, um, you know, questions that I wasn't going to get anything from. I let him talk and he opened up and we had a great like hour together hanging out. And he opened up, we talked, and it was all because of how I handled myself. (laughs) I think I put my guard down, laughed with him about stupid stuff. And how I spoke, my tone, my words, I kept it light. And it makes a difference you know, with your spouse, like if you're always sarcastic, if you're always taking things too personal, like it's never going to go down the right road. So how I speak is another thing that I've changed. Um, How I handle bad days. I've gotten so much better at that. And I just told you a lot of times my days became bad because I would beat myself up over my mistakes. But sometimes it's not me. It's other things in the world. I've always made that joke that I do my morning routine. I practice gratitude. I feel great. And then I go out into the world. I've always made that that joke that then you get in the world and you're like, are you kidding me? I was in a great mood. I ran into you, you and you and the way you talk to me, your energy. But I've gotten better with that too. Like I feel like, am I perfect? No. I still get around people with bad energy, negative energy, and it affects me. I feel it. I feel it. But I'm getting better about that too. Because now it's become kind of my, if I'm in a good place, I try to, I try to get them in a good place. Whether it's just listening, maybe it's just giving them a hug, maybe just saying something encouraging to them or trying to relate to them or helping them feel they're not alone. I feel that way too. However it is, I handle my bad days better. When my days start start out rough and, or say my, my kid is feeling distant from me, um, you know, maybe grouchy towards me, I, I handle it better. I really try not to take it personally. I try not to get offended. I try to remind myself they're tired. They got a lot on their mind. You know, it's hard growing up and, and learning all these lessons that we've all learned. So I'm doing better with how I handle my bad days. 
But a lot of that is from my mind. When your mind's in a good place, you can handle these things better. And it's funny, as I go down my list, they all kind of blur together. Like next, I I put how I handle hard times with my kids. And that is exactly the story I just told you. Like when we're having bad days, like, you know, I used to could have gone, you know, in a bad cycle and thought, geez, like my poor kids pulling from me. Like you start thinking the worst. Oh my gosh, they don't want to be around me anymore. Usually these are seasons. These are times. These are days. These are just, they're tired. It's don't overthink these things, you know, Do not be weary in doing good for at the proper time you will reap a harvest. One of my favorite, favorite verses, because that is the truth. We're exhausted. We're weary. We're tired. But keep believing in your kid. Keep doing good to your kid. Keep pouring into your kid. And maybe today, give your kid space. Let them go have time to themselves. Let them go, you know, sit in their room for a little bit, but maybe encourage them to go sit outside. You know, just... Giving your space sometimes is handling your kids better. It's a mix, you know, and lower those expectations. Get to know who your kid is and and maybe not always ask about their grades, their sport team, their friendships. Ask about them, their heart. What's on their heart? What are they thinking about? How are they feeling today? What is it? Like think about different questions to talk with them about. Um, Next, I've got so much better, but I still work on this, how other people make me feel. And I've touched on this already too. It all comes together. (laughs) It's really easy to let something someone else says or or doesn't say, something maybe someone does or doesn't do, or something, you know, that um, you were expecting from someone or either way, I think so many times our expectations are too high, we have created something in our head that doesn't need to be there, or we're just putting too much weight on someone else's opinion or thought or what they're doing for us. And this can be someone you, you know, just work with, hardly know, social media, a whole nother like story, but, or someone you really love. And I just think we got to stop like making so much out of things that that don't need to be made so much of expectations, whatever it is. And yes, there are there are situations where if someone's disrespectful, mean, hurtful, you know, there's deeper things that yes, there's a problem and we need to um, make a change in our lives maybe, or we need to have a conversation. I'm not saying ignore being treated awful. I'm not saying that. I'm saying it's the day to day you know, a cashier is rude and we get all bent out of shape rather than thinking, you know, it's not about me. (laughs) That person's got their own story. It's not about me. So not everything is about us. And don't let your feelings take over your day, your life. Like, it's okay to be like, oh, that was kind of rude or I expected them to do that. That's fine. And then move on. Like, there's so much more to the world. And if you can, if we can teach our kids what I'm going through, we are truly helping them navigate this world because this world is filled with getting upset, making things more dramatic than they need to be, you know, gossiping, judging. Let's teach them differently. It's not about you. Don't take so much offense. Stay focused on your life and move on. So next, I've gotten really be- really good about... Um, making different choices for my time and my energy. And I've podcast, I've written, you know, articles about this, but your time and your energy is your choice and how you choose to use it or spend it is your choice. And this is where we have to take ownership of our time and our energy. And it's empowering to choose what you know is best for you. And this is saying no to people you love, good friends, your spouse, your kids sometimes because of what you need. I love saying yes to people if I can, but I also know that my life, I have a lot of responsibilities. I have a lot of things and that where I want to be available. I want to be available to my kids, my spouse, my mom. I really, I really, really try to 
remember my priorities. Like I want God in my life first and I need to be there for my kids. They're, they're my job. They're my responsibility. And of course my spouse, that's our home, my mom, my family, my extended family. And at the end of the day, like someone's got to get a no and you've got to, if your mind is in a good place and you are spending your time each day, you know, pouring into your mind, prayer, gratitude, like focus, intentions, you will have the ability and the clarity to make those decisions. So every day, spend time on your mind, your values, your priorities, so that you can say yes and no to the right things, so that you don't begin to resent where your time and energy is going or exhaust yourself and not be available to the people you want to be available to because that's what life is about like you know being there for them so my time my energy and the last two that I really believe has really made a big change of me choosing different is my response which I did touch on this already as well, but how we respond to things. And really, this has kind of been a theme throughout my entire list today, but how we respond to what someone says to us, something that upsets us, how, you know, someone else, you know, they're what we expected from someone, what they do or they don't do, or just how the day is going. You get to choose how you respond to these things. And it really makes a difference. I choose to pause. If something, if I feel that I want to respond in a, a really like not a healthy way, I guess is the best way to put it. I take time. I go, I go outside. I take a walk in my yard. I don't go far. Gratitude, fresh air. I look up to the sky. I talk to God and I choose a better response and I'm happy that I take the time to do that before I unleash. And am I good at this? Nope, but I'm getting better. And I give myself grace when I don't do a good job. And um, I choose again because I can always choose again. And lastly, I'm getting better when I'm wrong. When When I'm wrong, when I mess up, I try to own it, learn from it, grow from it, admit to it, be humble about it, Like, we're not supposed to be right all the time. And I don't need to. Like, I just don't. I don't even want to. I like for other people to, you know, tell me something, teach me something. And I'm trying to get better about listening, not always speaking, not always feeling like I know the answers. Am I good at this? Nope, not always. But I'm getting better because I know, and that's the biggest takeaway from all this. I get to choose. I can choose again. And I can choose differently. I don't have to choose the same thing. Even if I've already made the choice and I'm in and I'm like, whoa, this probably wasn't what I should have done. There is always a way to say, listen, I know I said I could do, I'll help you get another person, but I did not realize what all was going on right now or that this was going to come up. And that's been the whole last year and a half of my life, you know, with, with my mother-in-law, that was where my time needed to be and my energy with my father passing, with my parents and Yep, I had to back out of some things. I did. I couldn't do all the things I wanted to with my kids' teams or the kids' school. And it's been okay. My energy, I know, needs to be in these places. And I need my kids to see that when family calls, when family needs us, that's where we are. And that's where I want to be. So what this week can you start choosing different? Pick one thing. Or start paying attention to something that doesn't make you feel good and be like, listen, I know I could choose different in this situation. Give yourself more grace. Use a better tone. You know, don't get beat up. Don't beat yourself up for mistakes, bad days. You know, how you're connecting with your kids, how you're responding to your kids, how you're responding to how someone makes you feel, where you're using your time and energy. Think of these things. We can all work on all of them. These are the things that are nonstop evolving. Always, we're not going to to arrive at the de- destination and be like, I got it all figured out. Now I'm good. I'm smooth sailing. That's really not how it is. Every day, get up and choose to be the best you can. Choose to work on yourself. Choose to do something better today. Choose to do something to make yourself better, stronger, healthier, happier, more confident, whatever it is, more available to your kids. So 
choose different this week in some respect and and take time to think about it. I hope it challenges you. I thank you for being here. Please share this with your friends. Share this with another mother, a, a friend, your sister, your brother, anyone you think that could benefit from this. And I would love for you to give me a review. That's the only way I hear like what you think of this. Or reach out to me. Let me know, please. I would appreciate it because I'd love to spread the word and encourage more people. That is my goal, just to give people simple, easy encouragement each day to get up and just enjoy our day even more, make ourselves better, embrace our day and transform whatever it is that's holding us back. Let's make those changes that make a difference. So have a great week, have a great day. And thank you so much for being here. Take care. I appreciate you sharing this time with me today. I am grateful you are here. And if you have anyone that you feel could also benefit from this encouragement, please share it with them today. You can also add a quick review on iTunes, which would mean the world to me and help me just to make this better for each and every one of you out there. I will be here each week, so please be sure to subscribe to the podcast or join me at kellyrenato.com to get the latest episode and more tools to help you on your journey to feel your best and enjoy every single day exactly where you are. I would love to have you join my journey and let's all add good, healthy vibes anywhere we can every single day. Enjoy your week and embrace the season you're in. And I look forward to next week. Take care. Bye-bye.